One of the best ways to stand out as a freelance designer so that you can work with better clients, do better projects, and make more money for the work you do is to deliver a higher caliber of work. And for us as UI and UX designers, one of the best things that we can deliver is prototypes. And if you wanna deliver really advanced, high level, high fidelity prototypes, a lot of the tools on the market are very, very expensive and usually reserved for large teams and enterprise level companies, but not anymore because Protopy has just released a basic plan that is geared towards freelancers and individuals like me and you to wow people with our interactive prototypes. All right, what is Protopie and why should you care at all as a freelancer or individual? Well, in my opinion, Protopie is the number one advanced prototyping tool on the market. And when I say advanced, I really mean advanced. I mean, it will allow you to tap into your device's native capabilities like the camera or the microphone or the altimeter and actually move and twist and do all sorts of really interesting things. You can use actual native APIs or you can actually get your prototype working on real devices like Xboxes and smart TVs. And so Protopie has found this really amazing sweet spot where it is way easier to use than tools like Axure or UX Pin. And in my opinion, it's way better and capable at doing advanced prototyping than a tool like Figma or Principle. If you want to do just screen to screen prototypes, maybe some fancy smart anime, just stick with Figma, just use Principle. But if you want to do things that are truly amazing, truly impressive that you can charge more for and that will wow your current clients and get you more potential clients, then Protopie is probably the way to go. And the problem is that generally speaking, tools like this have historically been pretty expensive. Protopie used to be pretty expensive, but they just launched this new basic plan, which is why I'm really hyped right now for all of you freelancers and individual designers out there, because it used to be that we would have to pay 67 bucks a month. And I'm telling you, I would do it because it's worth it. But now we have a $25 a month editor package, a basic package that works really, really well. It allows you to you know, export all of your prototypes with no watermarks. You can have lots of prototypes. You can save them in the cloud. You got lots of scenes. And if you don't know what all of that means, let me just tell you, it means it's really, really good. But you might be saying to yourself, well, I'm not even really sure if I need something like this. So what can it do? Here's a couple of examples I'll just load up in the cloud or in the browser. You can do things like build full on games here. So you can see like we have a mobile game. I'm clicking on my level. Let's go ahead and play. We're playing a full logic based game of match, which I am really, really bad at. It's hard to find which cat belongs with which cat, but you can do full on games like Angry Bird or Flappy Bird or match games like this. You can also do things like this little emoji kitchen, which is a really, really cool one. We can randomize, randomize, and we're going to get actual logic based output based on what we do. So I can kind of scroll through these, scroll through these and find, you know, each one of these and then combine them. All of that's happening through logic in the back end. You can also do really interesting and cool interfaces like this kiosk here where we're clicking a burger and, you know, we can change quantity. We can head over to like to the payment and we can scan through and find all the different you know, options for our order. This is some really, really in-depth stuff. Let's dive into the actual local version of Protopie and I'll show you a couple cool prototypes I've been working on. But pretty soon here, I'm gonna get my R1 Rabbit, which is an AI-driven device, so I'm a little bit pumped. So I went and redesigned the whole thing in Figma and brought it into Protopie so that I could kind of recreate some of that like interface and animation stuff that's happening. I can go ahead and press preview on my device and you can see when I hit my little thumb bar over here, this is exactly what my R1 rabbit is gonna do. I click it, it's gonna start listening for my commands. And if I wanted to, I could actually connect this right now to something like ChatGPT's API and actually start getting it to tell me stuff and give me text responses. Uh, but right now I just wanted to kind of like plug in that basic little interaction. Here's another one. It's a basic completion or logic based search. So we have a text box we've built, brought, we designed all of this in Figma, brought it in, um, and we've entered all of these in as separate pieces of data. And then we've put in an actual text input field here inside of Protopie so that when I preview it, you can see we have a couple of different options here. And if I started, for instance, like clicked on the text input field, it's gonna bring up my keyboard. And if I was to start typing, like for instance, the word feel again, 
it's going to filter out and only find the word or any option that has to do with feel. How about I just put an A in here and see what we get or an S or a D. So we get kind of like filtered search here with actual input fields that you can use. Now what's really cool about this is there's a huge difference between telling people that in Figma, hey, when you click on that, the user's going to be able to roll up their keyboard and type versus actually clicking on the input field and starting to type and getting results out of it. That's a huge difference. On top of that, if it wasn't enough for you to preview it here inside of Protopie, you could actually head up here and we can get a QR code so that we can run this on your device. And all I have to do is open up Protopie's local application that we have running right here and it'll allow me to scan the QR code. So I'm going to click that button. I'm going to go ahead and scan the QR code and it is going to load up my design that will allow me to tap actually inside of that field. And as you can see there, I'll start typing and we're going to get results. So we get real results here and people can just immediately use this if you send them the right QR code. That is an insane benefit and a wow factor when you're working with your clients. Again, it's one thing to say, it's another thing to do and show. What I want to do next is show you a really complex prototype that I've created and it's something you'd never be able to create inside of Figma or After Effects or Principle because it has full-blown customization, interaction, all of that stuff. You can see I'm building a Christmas card or a greeting card editor and what we've done is we've grabbed some elements here and those elements for instance like our little elements that are going to end up being on the screen like our little snowman or our present we want to be able to add these elements onto the screen and I want to be able to do things like tap them and drag them around pinch them to scale them rotate them I want to be able to build a full interactive almost like sticker building experiment here and it's just something that you can't do inside of any of those other tools so I'm going to open this up and I'm going to be recording my screen right now on my mobile device so you can actually see what I'm doing here so I've gone ahead and I'm going to open up that and I'm going to hit scan QR code why don't we come up right there and scan that QR code and it's going to open up my actual prototype so uh, here we have our greeting card and I'm just going to add maybe a decoration there and just pops on the screen I can drag that around put it wherever I want maybe I'll add the snowman and the bell I like those and now what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to pinch to zoom them and I'm gonna rotate them and put them exactly where I want let's just do that put a whole bunch of decorations there snowman I forgot to add my present so why don't we bring the present in as well we're just building a whole little sticker collage that is perfect that's exactly how I want it I'm gonna send and save it and why don't I add a couple of people here and just send that right off boom that is our interactive Christmas card maker and again that's something you can't do anywhere else I want to end by sharing the three biggest takeaways the three biggest reasons why I feel like you shouldn't be sleeping on protopie and every freelancer and individual designer should probably start learning it and integrating it into their workflow number one your portfolio your portfolio in this industry is everything and the more value the more expertise the more deliverables that are high quality and super impressive that are in your portfolio the more of a leg up you're going to have on the competition and we are in a very competitive design economy right now and if this is a tool that is in your tool belt if this is a piece of your arsenal you're going to have one of those legs up you know why because it's super high quality it's super impressive when all the other freelancers are showcasing ux flows some static screens maybe a figma prototype with some screen to screen stuff happening and you've brought all of that into an advanced prototyping deliverable that allows them to actually scan it and actually interact with it in their hands like this shows that you actually have the ability to execute at a high level and you could bring that high level of execution to their project or their company yeah it's going to be way more impressive so the number one reason is that it's going to make your portfolio stand out amongst all the rest reason number two is it's going to allow you as a freelancer or individual designer to demand a higher rate or higher pay because you have more tools you have more skills you are more capable of delivering high quality work the last reason to use a tool like protopie is the inevitable byproduct of the first two reasons i've already mentioned when your portfolio starts really standing out from the crowd you can demand higher rates for the work that you do and when you demand those higher rates you will inevitably work with a higher caliber of client and those are the clients that you're after 
the worst types of clients are cheap clients. They don't respect you. They don't think that you're an expert or an authority on the subject matter, and they're gonna nickel dime you at every turn of the project. But a higher caliber of client will respect what you know, who you are, the work and the value that you bring to the table, and you will have a much better time. And so if you wanna actually enjoy the projects and enjoy clients that you work with and stop hating clients and hating projects, then you need to start offering more value and protopie is just one way that you can do that and it used to be very very expensive for you to even dip your toe into that pool but now with the new basic plan they allow you to get started i mean you can just get started for free train and learn but when it's time for you to start delivering projects you can sign up for this basic plan great for freelancers great for individuals it'll allow you to do everything that i've shown you today tap into your devices eight of capabilities and do really complex things with video audio tap into apis and all the rest and you can sign up right now today and so i highly encourage you to add this tool to your toolbox it's going to help you as a freelancer and individual designer thanks for watching if you enjoyed the video make sure to leave a thumbs up subscribe to the channel and ring the bell so you know when more content comes out and if you have any questions leave those down in the comments check the description for some helpful links about protopi as well as the ability to sign up right now and start learning this amazing tool hope you're having an amazing week designing amazing things making amazing things and increasing your value as a freelancer or individual designer see you in the next one